How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to be testing out some more steel. If you've been watching the past few videos, I've been getting a lot of steel lately. One of the videos you'll see I was shooting with 223 and I was pitting the steel up. Uh, if I can give you an, show you an example. I don't know if you can see with the camera, but it was creating these divots. You don't want that because that's where, that's where you'll get ricochets. And so these are really not bad. No shooting hundred yards at three eighths inch AR 500 steel. You should be okay. If you get these little pittings and you're at hundred yards, you're probably still fine. I guess I don't want to risk it. I'm going to be having my kids out here later shooting. I'm not doing it. Uh, so just make sure accidents don't happen. I want to avoid this, this pitting on this steel. So what we're testing out today is AR 550 half inch thick steel. Um, and I'll put a link below to exactly where I got these. They are, these are the, uh, AR 500 target solutions, range time, range time targets. You know, they put their little brand thing there on the bottom. Uh, but I'll put a link below in this video. If you're interested in these, these, I should be able to shoot with 223 because 223 is coming out. What were we doing? 2,900 feet per second. So anything like around there, 3000 or up, AR 500 is kind of not going to cut it. You're going to see this pitting. So let's see what AR 550 does. Um, first, of course, let's start with just shooting some nine millimeter. Then I'll go ahead with the 223. This is just a 55 grain full metal jacket, um, 2,900 feet per second. That's probably leaving the muzzle. I'm guessing we're, we might lose a couple hundred feet per second at hundred yards, but I want to shoot these at 50 yards. Okay. And I wanted to see how safe it is uh, before I let, you know, my family members or anybody else out here shooting this stuff. Yeah. This set I got came with, oh, well, this looks like a 12 inch, uh, six, or maybe this is an eight inch. And then, it also came with silhouette, you know, this looks like 20 or 30 inch by that link below. If you're really interested, you'll see exactly what this is. Let's freaking hammer it. Have a look. No, no pitting, nothing, which is what we'd expect. <laughs> I mean, just a nine millimeter. So, yeah, it goes the same for all three of them. So far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead with this 223 Remington 55 grain full metal jacket, uh, 2,900 feet per second. That's probably leaving the barrel, but let's do 50 yards. I mean, this is half inch. AR 550, I want to be able to shoot closer. I mean, that's the point of getting this stronger steel, right? Let's just do 50 yards and see if it, if there's any damage that makes it unsafe. Maybe we, maybe we, maybe we stick to a hundred, but uh, I want to see if we can do 50 uh, without ruining the steel. I think I hit almost every one of those. Let's have a look. Might be hard to see on camera, but not nearly as much pitting as I'd see with like a 3 8 inch AR 500. A um, little bit, not really. I mean, I feel safe shooting this uh, with 223 for sure. Look at that. I mean, you can tell which one was a 9 millimeter. <laughs> and then, oh, there's a little. 
a little more of a dimple than anything else. But I wouldn't say unsafe to shoot anymore. Um, also, I was at 50 yards. <laughs> Even though it's AR-550, you're really probably supposed to be at, you know, 100 yards still. But well, this one's a lot harder to get on camera just because of the angle of it. But, man, I hope you just take my word for it. It's, it's not bad. It's not, like, pitted with, with indents that I'm worried about a ricochet going into. I'd say these are worth the money. Of course, these were a lot more... These are more expensive than the other stuff I've been testing lately. And so, you know, I'll put a link below to this exact set. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Neckbone out.